What's up, noobs? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm using noob a lot lately because Purgatory Beast got me hooked on it. Thanks a lot, Purg. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Alright, we're playing Uncharted 2 today. This is my very first game online, so that's the only reason I'm uploading it, basically. It's a pretty terrible score, but, you know, I don't... When you're a noob at a game, you don't take it as seriously as you do if you're, like, a veteran at the game. So, like, you don't even care if you do bad. So, like, if you're playing COD 4, or Modern Warfare 2, sorry, is what I was going to try to say. Like, right there, I would have been so pissed, but when actually I got that death, I laughed. Because the guy just, like, came... It, like, I felt like he said to me, get the fuck out, noob, you know? <laughs> when he saw me climbing up that, he probably thought, man, that kid's a noob, trying to climb up there. Because obviously it doesn't work. And I think a guy just ran by and I tried to spray but failed. But cover works in this game. It's it's an element that you have to worry about. You can look through an area and think that there's nobody there, but there could be some guy around the corner just staring at your ass, you know what I mean? It's like third person Modern Warfare 2. Which, I don't know, it seems a little bit cheap somehow because, you know, in real life, like, Drake right here, he wouldn't be able to see in third person. You know, that's that's kind of why I like first person shooters. It's, it's, like, a lot more realistic than, like, Rainbow Six Vegas or Uncharted 2. But this game's a lot of fun. It's To me, it seems really balanced. Uh, the only issue I would complain about is to have to do with the grenades. I don't know, just, like, you'll see me get a grenade death coming up right here. And it just seems like, where'd that come from, you know? Like, the veterans at this game are just really good with the grenades, and, like, they can turn... Like, you can you can be firing at them for so long, and then they'll just toss a grenade, go back to cover, and they'll, they'll win the fight. Which bothers me a little bit, but... I don't know, it's not a huge deal. <laughs> oh, I just got destroyed by that. I just went flying. That was a great death, too. I couldn't believe I was doing the best on my team. Like, I'm a level 1. Everybody else, like, is least played. Like, I don't know how long it takes to rank up, but at least... Uh, I don't know, like, 6 hours at least. I'm not sure how the gaming variable in this is from Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2. But, yeah, payback with a grenade. Payback's a bitch, right? This game, single player, is probably one of the greatest games I've ever played. I actually just finished Heavy Rain. And I'm going to release the walkthrough for Heavy Rain before this one, I decided. Because, look, another grenade. <laughs> uh, I did, uh, sorry about that. I decided to release Heavy Rain walkthrough before Uncharted 2 walkthrough. Because, um, because it's newer. You know, and I've seen quite a few Uncharted 2 walkthroughs on YouTube, and I haven't seen a Heavy Rain one yet. And Heavy Rain is awesome, by the way. If you haven't played it yet, and you have a PS3, I recommend you, you rent it. Like, I don't know if it's worth a buy. I bought it, you know, because I'm, I'm hardcore like that. I just buy all my games. Or I borrow them, because I'm a mooch. But, uh, yeah, if you want to rent that game, it is a great game. I beat it probably in eight or nine gameplay hours. And I'm just estimating here, but it's probably around there. And I recommend it to anybody that likes a good story. Like, if, like a game that reminds me of it is Indigo Prophecy, which is on the Xbox. And if you played that and you really liked it, you'll like this game. It was, it was amazing. It's, it's just a story where... It's like when you're watching a thriller movie and you see somebody make a stupid move and you're like, Man, why wouldn't he do this? Well, in this game, you get to make all the decisions. So, it's like a really awesome movie, but it's, uh, you make the decisions. It's about a serial killer who actually, well, I won't spoil too much. Just, just go play it. It's just a, a fantastic game, and if you, if you can't play it for whatever reason, or you don't have a PS3, just watch the walkthrough. I think you guys will really enjoy it. Uh, I've played through it once, and now I'm going to go ahead and do the walkthrough. I like to play through games once, just so that, you know... Because at some points when I was doing the when I was playing through it the first time, I'd be walking around for literally 15 minutes, not knowing what to do. So now that I've familiar familiarized familiarized is that a word? I don't know. Familiarized. I've made myself familiar with the game. I will do the walkthrough, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And actually, I mentioned a while back that in this game, if you die, you don't come back. 
and I actually killed one of my characters in it. I'm not gonna tell you who I did because I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep all my characters alive in the in the walkthrough, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, so I've also found an Uncharted 2. Of, I haven't played that much. I've played probably about I don't know five or six games. <sighs> Excuse me, and I've noticed that. The games I've played have been really close. Like you notice the score of 25 to 23. Just really even. And I don't understand. I played one game where our team just got destroyed and I just got demolished. Like after I played this one and I was like, hey, I'm not too bad at this game, you know? I'm going to start out going even every game. And then I played the next game and I played some veterans and they just completely obliterated us and I just felt like a noob. But it was still fun. I still enjoyed it even though I got destroyed. It helped me learn from their tactics and their grenade throwing abilities and all kinds of things like that. And the maps in this game seem pretty fun. It's fun to jump around and stuff. But I try to take advantage of cover. I don't know. It just seems like the whoring thing to do in this game. Other than grenades. I don't know. It just seems like such a an easy way to get kills that you might want to take advantage of it. So that's probably the only tip I can give you today. I don't know how much I'm going to play this game. I still have to go through a few more missions of this game before I'm done the walkthrough. And I got to do some... Um, so I have to go through the entire game of Heavy Rain. I haven't even started on that yet. On the walkthrough part, that is. And I just got beat down. Oh, it was a shotgun. <laughs> I got to get unlocked that shotgun. Looks like fun. And this seems like a game where you could do well with the shotgun, actually, like, jumping across buildings and shit and just getting behind people. Not that you can't do that in Modern Warfare 2. The game's so nice. ridiculous with shotguns as your secondary. Coming I mean, handy. Don't get me wrong, I like having them as my secondary. I'm not complaining. Just seems kind of a little bit unbalanced. But, doesn't bother me. Not a big deal. You'd have to be pretty courageous to go around jumping across buildings and stuff when people have fully automatic weapons to shoot at you. I, I totally in real life I'd be a post, I'd be a, a hiding behind shit. I wouldn't even stick I wouldn't even go for a kill. I'd be hiding. I'd be like, you guys go ahead, I'm just gonna chill back here and wait for people. You know? I would be the biggest noob in real war. Like noob tubes, I would be just launching those all day until my commanding officer told me to stop. Like, stop doing that. Those cost money. Or, you know what? Just nuke them. Yes. Screw the war and nuke them. But I'm actually a person that doesn't believe in war. I don't understand why there is war. I can understand the future of the people fighting over oil or <laughs> even water maybe someday. But I, I doubt that'll happen anytime soon. But I, I don't see the point in fighting like, we're better than you, you know? Seems kind of dumb to me. Let's go ahead and get killed just because we think we're better than them. I don't know. It just seems like pointless to me. It seems like they, we use a lot of money on war when we could use it other places. But hey, that's me. People have their own opinions, right? Uh, freedom of speech. I can't get arrested for saying this. Aha. Ah, freedom of speech. I could say anything right now. Couldn't go to jail. Nice. I should probably look this shit up before I go saying all this stuff, because I, I may be wrong about some things. <laughs> I think right here a guy jumps over the building and beats me down. Maybe that happened earlier. I'm not sure. And hey, they have those pop-up things in this game, too. And, you, and it makes that little ding-ding sound every time you kill someone, which is very satisfying. Ding-ding! It's not really ding-ding. It's kind of just like ding! You know, I don't know. I can't do it. I'm not good at that. And I guess I was wrong about someone jumping up behind me. I guess that happened earlier. I have to go back and watch that if you're interested. So, in my last video, I said I'd be uploading this immediately after. I apologize for not doing that. I've been pretty busy. I just got heavy rain and I wanted to play that. And all kinds of other shit happening. Now it is. So, 9 and 7. I didn't go negative. Thank you. I feel proud. Talk to you guys later.